I'm Dr. Jeff Kaplan, and for over 30 years I've traveled the globe from Dubai to Moscow and Johannesburg, from Singapore to Shanghai and Istanbul. I've studied the world's best businesses and the people that run them. But something is very different now. From the boardroom to the break room, there's a growing realization that our relationship with work is broken. But it's not too late. You still have a choice. Hold on to the past and struggle to survive or join the willing, change, and thrive in the world of tomorrow that's already arrived. So if you're willing, willing to think different, willing to work different, willing to change at the speed of now, then you're willing to win. Hi, and welcome to a very special edition of Willing to Win. I'm Jeff Kaplan. And I'm Tara Thomas-Getman. We are so excited to be on location in front of Great Clips and the Joint Chiropractic. These two particular businesses are located right here in this strip on Viking Road in Cedar Falls near Shields. It's so fun that we also have Jerry Akers, our special guest, joining us today. And we're gonna bring Jerry in in a moment to talk about his connection to both of these businesses. But before we do that, Jeff, tell us about the friendship that you forged with Jerry <laughs> and how it all began and has now grown into this ever expanding relationship that involves business partnership. It's really exciting. Tell us about it. You know, I tell you, we talk a lot about the power of personal connection and people powered organizations and people powered careers. And, and my relationship with Jerry is a great example of that. You see about, I don't know, six, seven years ago, um, I actually frequented one of his salons, um, not knowing Jerry, not knowing anything about his family. And the young lady that was uh, providing the, the haircut service to me uh, asked me what I did for a living. And at the time, I was starting to work on the willing to win books that, that this show is all about. And she heard about the concept and she goes, if you want to find an organization that really is living what you're talking about, you should meet the owner of our franchises. Um, he and his wife are amazing and you know you should do an interview with them. And I thought, oh, that's very, very nice, thank you. And then she handed me a card and I, I filed that card when I got home in the circular file, right? <laughs> because at that time in my life, I was all about big business. I was taking you know jets around the world, always in the pointy end of the plane, right? In first class, you know, and I was, you know, my experience with business was really all about the boardroom. So certainly there was no interest for me from some, you know, smaller business run by, you know, a husband and wife. So I just put it out of my mind. But a year later, a year later, I was at another one of Jerry's uh, salons, had that same kind of salon conversation. What do you do? This is what I'm working on. And got the same response from a completely different stylist. Only this time when she handed me the card, she says, no, you really need to call him. I mean, I'm ready to grab the card and she held on to it. You really need to call Jerry. And I took that sort of as a, as a sign. It might be worth a call, right? So I called up Jerry uh, and then I decided that we, we talked for a few minutes, set up an interview, and I went to his training center in uh, Cedar Rapids uh, for what I thought would be a 15 minute interview. Two and a half hours later, um, I came out of there having met one of the, my best friends of my entire life and we started a path that today has uh, created not only a business venture, uh, but also uh, hopefully a best-selling book soon. And this is what's so exciting. We have to tease what we're gonna get to to share more details with you about in a moment. It's called Live It to Own It. It is a, a must read all things franchising for anyone either considering the franchise business or if you're currently a franchisee, it's incredible advice. Jerry, we have to bring you into this conversation. You and your wife, Mickey, have not only grown this successful franchise footprint across the Midwest, you've also brought your family into the business. Why franchising? What was it about it that attracted you to, to undertake something that has now become a legacy for your family? It's a great question, Tara. You know, um Franchising is built around the concept that you don't have to know a lot about the actual business you're in. You just need to understand the business part of it. So we don't know anything about cutting hair, or in this case, doing chiropractic care, but we understand the business side of it so much better. If you were to open your own business in chiropractic or hair care, you probably should have background in that. As a franchisee, you don't have to do any of those things. So it makes it very smooth and easy and very comfortable. And the success rate is much higher doing it that way. Your entree into franchising was with Great Clips. You have multiple locations now across the Midwest. You're expanding now in this partnership with Jeff in, to open the Joint Chiropractic, as we're seeing today sitting in front of. 
what does it take beyond that sort of initiative? You have the get up and go, your family <laughs> has the work ethic, but you admit, and you talk about this in the book, you have needed guidance. You have sought support from a franchising coach and you now are reversing roles and, and being one to others. Why get a coach? Why do, why do you need that professional guidance? Because for some of us, you know, hey, I'm gonna be my own boss. I don't need a coach to tell me what to do. Well, so many people make mistakes in business and their ego gets in the way and it's really tough to take a step back and look at the business from a global standpoint. You get so focused on the day-to-day -day stuff and the small decisions you have to make that you lose track of the bigger things. When you reach out to a coach, they're looking at the whole business from a global standpoint and trying to keep you focused in the areas that maybe you have some shortcomings in that need to be improved so your business can continue to grow. Uh, having a coach, I think anywhere in life, but certainly in franchising or small business is critical to your success. When you think about people over the years as we get older wanting to leave an inheritance for our children, we want to sort of, you know, pass on to the, our children what we've benefited from. In your case, franchising has created a legacy, a generational legacy for your family. Talk about that attraction to the franchise business and why for so many people this is a this is a way to set their kids up for their futures. Yeah, you know, when we got into it, we had no intention of doing that. But the fact is, as you grow, you do have the opportunity to set your children up. Uh, many children leave school, they really don't know what they want to do with their life. In fact, my youngest daughter changed her college education path in the middle of it so that she would be better prepared to help run this growing enterprise as it went into the next generation. It's very, uh, you know, it touches you that you can set your children up to do those kinds of things. But it's not like the image of just giving your children a lot of money when you retire or something like that. Uh, my kids work harder than many of our other employees. They're probably working 60 hours a week right now. But the fact is, they see the long-term vision and they see a chance for their kids to end up being in this business someday. So Mickey and I have had the opportunity, the rare opportunity to create a, a lifetime legacy. And actually it could go into two or three or four generations yeah. before it's done. It's That's so exciting. I was gonna say, I, I give you, you know, we kid around, you know, a lot, and, and you'll probably think I'm kidding you when I say, and your kids are doing a better job than you, but actually that is a, the best compliment I can give you because they're so incredibly dedicated to this. They've already won awards for best franchisee in their system, which is amazing. And I think it's a, a testament to the example that you set for them. And, and on top of that, you've created hundreds of jobs. Yeah, I mean, we've got about 220 employees on general, and um, every one of them is like a part of our family. This is really a family that spreads across two states. Uh, we touch not only those 220 employees, but if you take that times a factor of three or four with children and spouses, I mean, we're touching a thousand people's lives a day through our businesses and that is something that drives us and our kids you know our kids grew up giving back to the community through things that we were involved in and now they're doing it on a much larger basis um, there's a lot of pride as a father when you see your kids winning awards from corporate and getting recognized for the things they're building and doing and you're right Jeff they are in many ways better than I am at some of the things because they're specialized in specific areas and uh, I'm not a technology guy look at the gray in my hair and we're all in technology businesses anymore so my daughter Samantha does a phenomenal job keeping our technology running Shelly does an outstanding job with all the back office and the benefits and those kinds of things I'm not qualified to do any of those <laughs> things I just got to tell you <laughs> that's great Jeff before we hear from a couple supporters of Jerry's that wanted to weigh in on this incredible new publication coming out if you're just joining us this is live it to own it it is a new all things franchising how-to guide written by the two gentlemen here to my right Right, Jerry Akers and Jeff Kaplan. Live it to own it. How did the book even come about? What was the process? <laughs> well, I tell you, when we first uh, got together and had that first interview, and that's all it was supposed to be, I was going to do an interview and what we call a spotlight, you know, a small piece in willing to win on the idea that maybe as a career option, somebody might want to do this thing called franchising, which I knew very little about. And so I started talking to Jerry, hearing about, you know, his training program, how he works with his staff, what the business model was, and I suddenly realized we weren't dealing 
dealing with small business. Now granted, each little store might be a small business, but you start putting together a chain of 20, 30, 40, or as uh, one of the interviews in the book is a, a franchiser from uh, Ohio has upwards of you know 90 units, right? It starts to become a significant business. And so all of a sudden I, I started thinking this could be something that, that would be interesting to a lot of folks. And the more I thought about it, I realized how scary it would be to go from working for someone else or like me not knowing anything about franchising and then all of a sudden having to potentially write the largest check of your entire life with the exception of maybe your house right um, and putting that money on the line putting your life savings on the line to start a business for you and your family and that to me was very intriguing and I also felt like the people that were thinking about that could really use a helping hand in making the decision so our book is unlike any franchise book that's been written before because we don't mention a brand name we're not trying to convince anybody to do anything. The entire book is focused on trying to get somebody to understand what exactly it is that they're signing up for and to help them feel comfortable with whatever decision they make. I got so excited about this process, writing the book with Jerry over the last uh, five and a half years, um, that Jerry and I are actually in business <laughs> in our first franchise and we put it right next door to his franchise, which is really, really exciting. It's so exciting. And again, Live It to Own It coming out soon, this all things franchising. It's for both those just now driving by that franchise considering it or longtime franchisees who need the guidance to expand and diversify like Jerry and Mickey have done so successfully. Here's the incredible thing. Peter Holt, the president and CEO of the Joint Chiropractic, which is the new business venture that's opening behind us right here in Cedar Falls, Peter Holt had this to say about Live It to Own It and why it's a must buy for anybody in the franchise industry. What is it about that sort of how-to guide that you think will be appropriate, timely, and very helpful for, as you describe, that nervous person that's deciding whether to make the leap? Well, I, I think the book just does really a beautiful job of laying out the journey. Uh, and, and, it, and it's supported by these, these, these real stories which we connect to. It's supported by very effective tools that can be utilized in that decision-making process. Whether it's that first decision, you know, okay, I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna leave my, my, the safety of my job, but what would I do if I don't do this? And so the, it's, it's, it's helping guide that process. So you've got that fear. So how do you channel fear? How do, or how do you address fear? Is that you address it with information. And that's, I mean, think about most of our fear is what? The fear of unknown. We don't know what to expect. Will it be good? Will it be bad? And so if you can address the fear, you can move through it and make good decisions on the other side. And so to me, I think that, uh, you know, Jerry and, and Jeff have really, in a very, very um, uh, articulate way, in a, in a very engaging way, have laid out um, you know, a roadmap of, of how to walk through that process to address your fear and determine is, should I be in franchising at all? If I'm gonna make the leap into franchising, do I do this or do I do that? And how do I decide? And what are the right questions that I should be asking along the way? And what are those key areas of lease negotiation or, or hiring my employees or managing my marketing? All these, I mean, they're, they're just touchstones to what makes a successful franchise system is ensuring that you're asking the right questions to help you make a better decision as a franchisee. You know, it, how it, affirming, right? Absolutely. And the thing is, you know, Peter wasn't actually a, a part of the construction of the book. We made the decision to go with the joint as, as our joint venture, if you will, um, you know, separate and apart from the book project because we didn't want to involve any brands. Like I say, we don't mention any brand names, you know, in the book. Um, uh, but when we, you know, got to the point where we had a manuscript, we really wanted to get his opinion because Peter is, he is a giant in the industry. That's right. He is so smart and so well respected. To get that kind of feedback tells you that maybe we're on the right track with this thing. He believes in the book so much, he's actually going to be part of the foreword for Live It to Own It. So if you want to hear more from Peter and his insights on franchising and why he says this is the go-to guide, it's common sense. That's what I love about it. So many personal anecdotes that Jerry shares about life in the franchising world. And Jeff now, as a partner, 
all that you've learned over the five years of writing this book, and they want to impart that wisdom to others because we all have those moments, especially now at a time when a lot of people are considering their futures and a job change, franchising might be the right next step. And Live It to Own It can serve as your guide to help you make that important decision. We can't let Jerry go without talking about the charitable side of his family endeavor. We caught up with Ra Goggins. He is the president of Great Clips, has known your family for years now that you've been a part of that franchise business. Before we hear from Rob, why turn something that for you was initially a business venture into a way that you and your family give back? Well, you know, uh, it's, it's so important, I think, that all of us as human beings recognize that others need extra help from time to time. And when you own a business, any business, but in particular a franchise business, you have opportunities to work with nonprofit groups and those kinds of things on a regular basis. I mean, let's face it, they knock on your door more than anything else. But we and our family from way before we got into franchising were driven to help people with the American Cancer Society or ALS or MDA or something like that. And uh, we've done that forever. And now through franchising, we can do that on a more global basis. So if we were to do for perhaps a fundraiser for one of those, it's not just doing it in one storefront location. It's across two states with 36 locations, soon to be 45, 46 locations. So we have a really, first we have a responsibility to help out others. And secondly, we have the ability to help out others. So it's, it's the thing to do and our family just really believes in that. And you know, this is a business, this is a way for us to make a living. But when we get beyond that and we recognize we can touch way more lives through this than we ever could before, that's when it really hits home. Well, let's hear what Rob Goggins has to say about how Jerry and his family are among the most charitable of the franchisees in the Great Clip system. Can you speak to Jerry and other franchisees in terms of the commitment that they make to the company and in his case, wanting to help others and, and by doing this book, clearly encouraging others to take the leap of faith if it's right for them and consider being a part of an organization like Great Clips? Yeah, Jerry and his wife, Mickey, and of course his, his daughter, Sam and Shelly, they are very similar to many other franchisees in our system and that they want to give back. So they've been wildly successful in the business, which is awesome to see, and obviously creating second generation opportunities for his family. And yet he still wants to give back. So Jerry's on the International Franchise Association Board. I believe he's on the Iowa State Cosmetology Board, just like we've got a handful of other franchisees that have joined their state cosmetology boards. Uh, he conducts training for his people that goes beyond just how to cut hair and how to run the point of sale system and how to provide the five steps of customer service. And he's teaching people how to purchase their first house or purchase their first car or budget. That level of, of care for their employees and giving back, whether it's to charities or to the franchise community, is pretty typical in our system. And, and Jerry's a great embodiment to that. Wow. You know, it's always great to be called out uh, for good things by peer, <laughs> peers and people you look up to, you know, and you talk about Rob, who's become a dear friend of mine over the years, and, and Peter Holt, of course. Those are people that, that I look to as not only my bosses to some extent, because they're the presidents of the organizations I own franchises with, but also as, as thought leaders and uh, leaders in the franchise and business world. And when both of them say the kind things that they did about what we're working on, what we're doing here, and the impact it'll have on so many lives. I mean, that just, it, it tears me up. I'll just be honest with you, because this is a labor of love for me, and I think for you as well. And to have people at that level recognize what's going on and what you're doing and what you're building, um, that's pretty powerful. It, it is really powerful. I'll tell you, we went and spoke to Rob when we were first thinking about this book project. Right. And, 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 you know, Great Clips is the world's largest beauty brand, right? So they're very conservative about their brand and its associations. And they're saying, you know, Jerry, we love you. We love your family. You've been a great franchisee. We don't know if you can write. We don't really know what this is about. We can't be involved with this project. But once it's done, let us see it. And maybe, you know, we'll give you some support when we know what the product is. And that makes made sense, right? right. So we went and we spent half a decade writing this thing. And then um, we showed it to, to Rob and we 
but just in a few hours, um, he was back to us saying, I want to be a part of this. You know, can I write the, the afterword, the, the end of the book, uh, to sort of sum up what's, what's gone on? So we're really lucky to have him. I think that's a great compliment, not only to what you've done, but to what we're able to accomplish with the book. And you talk about Rob citing your family and your success and then going beyond you know the business side of it turning it into a giving back to your employees and we saw that today just when you came in the employees didn't want to just say hey the boss is here they wanted to give you a hug right. which really speaks to the relationships you're building that go beyond the transactional employer and employee so we're just so excited now that you're celebrated as well as Jeff sharing these lessons, this insight in Live It to Own It, because believe me, the man is walking the walk that he shares in this book. Well, so much so, not only him, but his wife, his business partner, Mickey, walks the walk. Chief through. Hugs Officer. That's what I was going to say. Her title is <laughs> Chief Hugs Officer. I don't know necessarily any other business that has that title, but it shows you just uh, how much of a family-run business, how much of a community-oriented business this franchising endeavor really is. So go ahead, Jerry. Well, I was just going to say, you know, and our daughters are the same way because when they walk into a salon, they'll be greeted the same way. We literally know the struggles our stylists have. 220 employees, we understand their family struggles and so on. And we do everything within our power to help make their lives better. And that's really what this whole thing is about. You can make a living a lot of different ways, but you can impact a lot of lives through franchising. If you're just joining us, I'm Tara Thomas-Getman and my co-host, Dr. Jeff Kaplan. This is Willing to Win On Location, a special episode with our guest, our friend, Jerry Akers, the, the franchise king of the Midwest, I'll dub him. He and Jeff have teamed up for this incredible venture coming out soon in November, Live It to Own It. It is the how-to guide for all things franchising. You know you've been there. You drive by a franchise, you see somebody running a business, and you think, hey, I could do that too. Jerry took that leap. Jeff and Jerry are now partnering up to diversify. Initially, his footprint of Great Clips has now expanded to include the joint chiropractic. We're actually sitting right in front of these two businesses out here on Viking Road in Cedar Falls, right near Shields. You can't miss it. Come get your haircut, get an adjustment at the Joint Chiropractic. You can Google the businesses and sign up online and find the location nearest you. There are locations all over the Midwest and Jeff and Jerry are expanding their footprint. But before you make that decision, check out Live It to Own It. Get all the backstory, the details, the activities are great that you guys actually put into play yourselves when you were considering franchise locations. So the website is where you can get an advanced copy, sign up for one, live it to own it dot com and that's live it the number two own it dot com final thoughts jerry how does it feel to now finally taking all of this insight and wisdom and the stories you've been telling for years and putting them on the page well it's pretty impactful you know it's been a long five years or whatever we've worked on it you know a lot of hurdles but you learn a lot while you go through that process and actually revisiting some of those stores stories just re-emphasizes to me how powerful they were in our journey and how powerful they would be to others as they look at franchising as a potential business. Jeff, your final thoughts. You've put a lot of time into this beyond Lyft Innovate, which is your other, your other business. What was it about Jerry that you knew he had something special and you have done an eloquent job? I might, I have to toot Jeff's horn, a best-selling author. He captured the essence of this so in such a conversational way. It's an easy read. It's an easy read. So what was it about Jerry that you knew would be something that you didn't want to just have as a, you know, a passing relationship, but forging a, a lifelong friendship and in this case, business venture? You know, by the time I met Jerry, I'd already spent 30 years uh, of my life writing about big business and, and people in big business. And I, and I met so many great people and I realized that when I wasn't in the boardroom, I was trying to convince the everyday person that there was no evil empire. There was no, you know, I don't know any people in corporate America that have the handlebar, you know, mustache <laughs> that are behind the curtain trying to like change things, that it was really all about people. But it's really hard to, to think that and feel that when you're in an organization that may have a thousand, a hundred thousand or a million people like is in the case with Walmart. But when when I got a chance to, to meet Jerry and find out what his approach was and see how he interacted with his staff, I'm like, this is what business should be about, right? This is where real, this is business. This is the business I want to be a part of. And, and he's such, uh, 
he's prototypical of, of, of what it really means to have a family run business and what it can mean to a community and the people it serves. So I'm just really glad to have met him and really glad uh, to have a second chapter as we, uh, as we set out on this new venture. Well, congratulations to Jerry Akers and Jeff Kaplan on their new book, Live It to Own It. Go to liveittoownit.com, rather, Live It to Own It, the number two, liveittoownit.com, so you can check it out and consider a franchise future for your family. It could be you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for this special edition of Willing to Win. If you ever wanted to be your own boss and call your own shots, welcome to the world of franchise ownership. The adventure awaits. Meet your guides on the journey, Jerry Akers and Dr. Jeff Kaplan. Jerry is one of the most successful franchise operators in the U.S., and Jeff is a global business consultant and author. They've lived it, and now they've teamed up to help you own it. Introducing Live It to Own It, your guide to selecting, developing, operating, and expanding the business of your dreams. In these pages, your franchise journey awaits. A journey that is as much about what's in your heart as it is about what's in your head. Your future awaits. If you have the passion, the drive, and the guts to put yourself on the line, it's time you live it to own it.